What up y'all, this is Jacob with JDQ Transportation. I'll be showing y'all today how to install a CB antenna in a Freightliner Cascadia. So let's go. So that right there is my CB setup. Got the Cobra 29 LTD Classic. Got a Gear Keeper Micro Tractor. Road King Chrome microphone and the Trucker Series external speaker because it's so much louder than the stock speaker on the Cobra CB. And then this right here is this antenna that I got, it's the Wilson Trucker 2000 series. White gold lettering. Come with a tool and a lock washer to put it onto the holder. And for the freight liners, this is what you're gonna need to mount it on your mirror. It goes on the driver's side, you pull out the two bolts, which I'm gonna show y'all here in a little bit, run them back in it. And you got this little deal right here, which clips on to that little bar right there. You just tighten up them nuts and bolts right there. And you screw the antenna down into there. And your coax cable plugs up right in there and you're gonna need an 18 foot coax cable got that right there and just to show y'all what it all cost I got a couple Red Bulls but oh. so to get that mount on there you're gonna have to pull this screw and this screw out and to do that you're gonna need a T40 Torx bit so I didn't read right <clears throat> This one is for 2017 and older. You gotta find the one for the right year model. So we gonna return it and we gonna get the right one now. Let's go. All right, now we got the right one. 2018 and newer is the one I'm gonna need. Something for 17 and older is not gonna work on a 22. So let's get back to it. So you're gonna wanna take this little spacer right here and put it in the hole just like that for each of them. All right, next, we're gonna put this on here. Looks like I'm gonna have to open that up just a little bit. No, maybe not. So you're gonna tighten that up. And to tighten this up, you're gonna need an 11 millimeter socket for this side of it. And you're gonna need a 7 16 wrench to hold back up. All right, next up we got the antenna. Got to put that together. Got to put this on here. But I'm going to have to take the little Allen wrench that's supplied with the uh, with the antenna. Loosen up those two screws right there. Pull this out. Slap that on there. And put it up there. All right, we got that mounted up. Next up is the coax. All right, the way I'm gonna be running my coax, I'm gonna pull this piece off right here. I'm gonna pull this piece off and I'm gonna show y'all as I go. And then I'm gonna undo these screws up in there, pull this down and run it up back there. And the bit y'all are gonna need to get those and take that a little bit loose is a T20 Torx bit. So this is the progress so far. Didn't realize it was a splitter where you can do run this cable on the two items, but here we are. I'm not going back in. All right, so far I got this screw out. I got that one out. I need to get this one. This one right here. I'm gonna pull this down. And whenever I pull it down, I'll be able to come from the back right here fish it up into the back of this little cubby and I'll be able to hook it to my CB. All right, once you take this loose, there's another screw right there. Pull that out. You can pull this box down, finish fishing that wire up there like I have it right there. And you can grab it from right there and I'll get back to you. And that's the finished product. I'm gonna have to do something with all them loose wires right there, but we'll figure it out. But like I said, it's all hidden. 
Only time you see that wire is when you open the door. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one. Drive safe. Peace.